What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through everything that I eat today. Majority of what I'm going to be eating today is leftovers. So I have to go through some things in the fridge. I am about almost a week out from leaving for Costa Rica to go partake in an ayahuasca journey. So that is in two days, it will be a week away from me flying out. So there is a protocol to be following and what you should be eating in preparation for ayahuasca two weeks before and then one week before. So today there is no pork, no red meat, no spicy foods, limiting salt, limiting foods high in sugar, limiting animal fats, and a few other things. So I'm eating a quiche leftover that has a bunch of vegetables in it. And then for lunch, I have a sweet potato shepherd's pie that I'm going to eat. And then I need to make some kind of dinner. I have some chicken thawing and I'd really like to go get some potatoes and make some kind of french fries. So we'll see. I'm gonna grab my quiche, start breakfast, and I am, we're not supposed to have spicy food, but I'm gonna have a little bit of buffalo sauce with my quiche as it needs to be eaten and just do my best. Super quick and super simple. I buy a pie crust, an organic pie crust from Kroger in the frozen section. It comes in a pack of two. And then I fill it with six eggs and just a bunch of different chopped vegetables inside when I want something quick for a few days and I want something loaded with vitamins and minerals. I have different peppers and potatoes and tomatoes and zucchini in this, which is really yummy. And then I'm just pairing it with a little bit of buffalo sauce to give it some extra flavor. Now that I finished breakfast, I'm gonna have a probiotic. This is currently the one that I'm using by Prescript Assist. I got this on Amazon, I'll link it down below. There's 28 strains, which is absolutely incredible. If you can get a probiotic that has at least 10 strains, 15 is better, but more than that, <clears throat> you're giving yourself a wide variety of different kinds of bacteria that are good for your gut microbiome. The healthier you are, the more diverse your gut microbiome is, and you do that by consuming different vegetables, just all different kinds of foods. Carbohydrates are of the plant, <laughs> Carbohydrates are of the plant-based kingdom, so if you eat a, a, a variety of plant foods, you're gonna be bringing in a variety of different kinds of bacteria, especially if you're looking at the color of your foods. If you change up the colors you're eating on a daily basis, you're bringing in a variety of nutrients, and that's gonna be really supportive for you in your gut health. The next thing I'm gonna have is a vitamin D3. I get this one on Amazon as well. I'll link it down below. It's in olive oil. And I take both of these right now, I'll most likely stop taking all supplements on Sunday, which is in a couple days. My very first, well, it's not my first time doing ayahuasca, but the very first ceremony that we'll be doing for ayahuasca is on a Monday night. So one week before I take the ayahuasca, I'm gonna stop taking all supplements. So I've got a few more days. I just did a parasite and colon cleanse. I gave an update on what that was like in my podcast episode, which I'll link that down below as well. I have a podcast called The Widely Holistic Podcast, and I share with you that I went and did a parasite and colon cleanse here at home. I didn't go anywhere. And one of the things that's recommended to consume is a probiotic both during and after the cleanse itself. <clears throat> so I have about an hour. What I want to do is make myself a coffee and I'm using a, an espresso machine. I'm going to make it with some foamed, frothed almond milk, some cinnamon, and then some of the stevia sweet leaf vanilla drops. I've been really enjoying this lately and I've been enjoying it as a morning ritual to get me energized and excited for a productive day because there's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes in my life and sometimes having something that just inspires you and excites you to get up and get going and get things done is what i need to lean into personally to help myself stay accountable and right now for some reason this drink is doing it for me so let's make that now
it is officially lunchtime and I forgot, I'm sorry, I forgot to share with you that I made a second coffee and I used a, I actually really wanted decaf but we don't have decaf so I just figured I'd make another one. And I made it with one espresso shot, the canned coconut milk by Thai Kitchen, I think it is. I frothed that with some of the stevia from earlier and some cinnamon and it was quite delicious. So I made that and now I'm on to lunch and then I gotta get back to work. So what I'm eating is a leftover sweet potato shepherd's pie. There is a sweet potato crust with ground turkey, carrots, tomatoes, and onion in a tomato paste sauce that I made and baked the other day. This recipe is actually from my fall reboot, which is a seven day meal prep and plan guide that gives you a grocery list, a meal plan, and a meal prep guide to follow to a T so you have one whole week of food at your fingertips. Macronutrient balanced, healthy, delicious. They're not plant-based recipes. They do have animal products, not all of them, but most of them. You can swap out any of the animal products for, like for example, you can swap out any animal meats for plant-based proteins. You can swap out chicken bone broth for vegetable broth. So you can make it vegan and plant-based if that is a diet that you follow. However, that is not how I designed it. So this recipe is in that ebook. I'm gonna leave it down below. It is $29.95. It is a really informative ebook. It gives you a grocery list. It gives you a step-by-step -step instruction for Sunday and Wednesday on how to meal prep. So everything is with the consideration of you saving time and energy in the kitchen with giving you really healthy recipes to eat for you and one other person for an entire week. So I am going to eat this shepherd's pie and then get back to work and I'll show you later what I have for a snack and for dinner. Well, we just got back from a walk. It's very cold outside and I have all of this it doesn't even look like that much, but it's a good amount. I've got to do that and figure out what the heck to make us for dinner. Oh, wait. I have some chicken wings and chicken breast <laughs> that needs to be cooked. And I have a bunch of carrots. I have celery. Um, and that's about it. So what can I make with that, you guys? What can I make? Chicken, carrots, celery, chicken wings and chicken breast. I don't know, I need to think about it, but for now, let's speed clean this shit. You know, I get really excited when I'm about to do the dishes and it's about to be a really clean kitchen and then I realize that I have my dishwasher that needs to be unloaded first. So let's do that first. Okay, I wanna show you something before I get started with all of that cleaning. It's a painting I'm working on. I used to have a lot more videos on YouTube and I deleted a bunch of them because I have insecurity issues and I have for a long time, but hey, I'm overcoming that. And I used to have stuff in the past about my paintings and I wanna show you one of them right now. So this is my most recent piece. I think it's 18 by 24 inches and it is a bluish background with this silver acrylic over top and I use a white chalk pencil to stencil out the outer rim and then I use this let me show you this is the pen that I use to deco color I think I get it at Michaels I use this to create my own designs over top and I make mandalas it's been a really long time since I've made a painting like this but I felt inspired to make a couple paintings for gifts if people wanted some artwork to give as gifts for the holidays as the Black Friday is coming up, which I don't even know if that counts for anything. And then Christmas is coming up. So if not, then it was extremely therapeutic painting. And if so, then people have some paintings to give away as gifts. I've got one more canvas, this pink one that I'm gonna do a gold mandala on. So I'm excited because it's been a while since I have expressed my creativity in that kind of way. So, I think what I've decided to do for dinner is to cook up the chicken breast and make some rice and just cook up some leftover veggies and just have a super simple dinner. 
because ultimately in preparation for ayahuasca you want to keep things very minimal and you want to keep the body as clean and ready for ayahuasca as possible so some chicken some rice and veggies is totally a thousand percent appropriate and really healthy anyway so that's probably what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna make my rice first and then I'm going to clean this entire kitchen and do the things that I don't want to do but it's gonna ultimately make me feel better at the end of it and then make the rest of dinner and then after that I need to drive at 7 p.m. to a tire appointment to get my tire that had a flat that is now patched put on my car so what I'm gonna do is bring my laptop and edit this vlog that you're watching right now while I'm there so I have more vlogs coming up for you if you want to see more what I eat in a day videos leave a comment down below and let me know that you enjoy seeing those videos because I would love to make them for you if you do enjoy seeing them do that right now go leave me a comment let me know make sure that you give this video a like as it supports the growth of my channel and it lets me know that you like what you're seeing Make sure you're subscribed because here we are doing the thing and let's make some rice. Okay, so what I've decided to do is do a bed of greens and then I'm gonna cook the chicken, some leftover green beans, chopped up carrots and some chickpeas on the stove and then I'm gonna chop up the rest of this cucumber and throw that in there as well and just kind of make a stir fry with the brown rice. And I'm gonna snack on two Brazil nuts right now to give myself a little bit of sustenance. I always struggle saying that word, is it sustenance? Substance? I think it's sustenance. <laughs> I'm gonna eat two of these because they're very high in selenium, which is good. It good for your thyroid health. They're like one of the richest sources of selenium in all the plant, all of the foods. So this is what they look like. Two a day is the way to go for support with selenium, which is a mineral that is really good for your thyroid support. So two of those a day is really good as like a vitamin. So I'm gonna chop up the vegetables, throw the chicken, the chickpeas, the carrots, and the green beans on the stove chop up the greens and put it in two bowls for both of us, chop up the carrot and add that, wow, that's a cucumber, and then add the brown rice as well. Mm. So I'm waiting for my chicken and veggies and rice to finish cooking and I have to eat this chia pudding and this yogurt, Kite Hill almond, yep, almond milk yogurt by today. So I'm going to take the chia pudding that I have left over of, add in the yogurt and then chop up some strawberries and put that in here with a little bit of cinnamon to take with me when I go to the car appointment because it needs to be eaten and I don't really want to waste the food so that's what I am going to do right now is chop up the veggies and add this to chop up the strawberries and add that to this 
The greens that I was gonna use for dinner is wilted and the whole thing is a waste. I can't use any of it, so I'm just gonna do the cucumber, the brown rice, the chicken, and the veggies for our dinner with just a little bit of salt. And I wish we had lemon, but we don't, so it's just gonna be pretty bare, but it'll be fine. It'll still be good. One other thing that we are going to be taking is some elderberry syrup. I picked this up at Hawthorne and Violet. I think that's the name of the shop in Fenton. Elderberry syrup. This is water, local honey, elderberry, star anise, cinnamon, ginger, and cloves. And Mike and I are using this as a preventative measure to support us with our immune health to ensure that we are as healthy as we can be before we go on our trip for Costa Rica because we do have to get tested for COVID and COVID is traveling around Mike's work once again. So we wanna do everything that we can to make sure that we are as healthy as possible before we go on our trip so we can actually go on our trip. So right now we're taking a teaspoon of this every single day. We started yesterday. Um, and on top of that, just trying to get rest and trying to bring in as many minerals and vitamins as we can to ensure that our gut is as healthy as possible to help us defend against pathogens. So yes, that is something that we're doing as well is taking this just a little bit. Um, you can take more than that per day, but we're just trying a teaspoon per day. Here you have it, my friends. We have the chickpeas, carrots, green beans, chicken, and brown rice. I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil, salt, and pepper over this with the cucumber, and that is gonna be our dinner. And then I'm gonna take a teaspoon of this elderberry syrup as well. And then I will be taking this strawberry yogurt and chia pudding as a snack and a dessert to the car appointment later just to eat this because it needs to be eaten. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed following along with me and what I chose to eat today. If you found some inspiration, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought about the shepherd's pie if that sounded like something that you would eat. You can grab that recipe in the reboot, which I'm gonna link down below as well. And make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. You only call me on the weekends when you're out and about. Only chasing highs, you need me. He brings me flowers on a Tuesday. He gives me good love and something that I never thought existed. I know